what it takes. Waking up with Riley Rose and Seamus on Hit 104.9. Now, Riley, you only really watch Married at First Sight. It's like the only thing you watch, Riley. I only watch Married at First Sight, so I'm neglecting my kitchen rules. You're neglecting everything. <laughs> Instead, you know, we want to talk about I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, but you thought, you know what, I might get a friend of mine. Yeah, that's right. It's in case you missed it with Stephen. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, guys. How are we? Yeah, good. good. Thanks, mate. Now, are you like a massive TV fan, are you? TV, film, um, yep, big fan. Loving I'm a Celebrity at the moment, so yeah. it's keeping me pretty occupied. Before we get into it, Steve, I just want to tell you, uh, well, I want to tell everyone how we actually know each other. I reckon we haven't seen yeah. each other in about... 15 years? Oh, so, nah, loose word friends. Oh, I wouldn't say you're friends then. <laughs> <laughs> friends on Facebook. So. How often do you guys yep. talk? It's official. Well, not that often. So, oh. Riley doesn't know I'm a celebrity, get me out of here this well, so she just grabs one of her Facebook connections. <laughs> Do you? Are you right? Do you know it? Just get on and talk about it, eh? Just get, she's getting anyone on the show now. No, that's not true, <laughs> Stephen. We actually went to drama school together. We went to Melbourne Theatre Company to study theatre. <laughs> Back in the day with some pretty bad looks as well, I must say. Oh, my God, I know. Looking back on the photos, I'm like, what were we thinking? Um, so, <laughs> Stephen, mate, in case you missed it, uh, I'm a celebrity getting me out of here. I haven't been watching it. What's going on? It's been a pretty crazy week in the jungle, actually, with a lot going on. So, at the beginning of the week, we've been seeing the celebrities slowly cracking under the pressure, I think. The campmates are kind of getting to each other. And on Sunday, we saw the Aussie actress Carrie Armstrong, who we know from Sea Change Leave. Yeah. which was oh. probably a good sign. She started cracking a little bit, started fighting with the other housemates and arguing about the term elimination, evicted, rather than oh leaving. Oh, my God. Um, Get over it. She thinks she's on big brother. Paul Kerry. Yeah. yeah, I think so. And she was just stressed out to the max. Was and it- then on Monday, we saw Lisa Oldfield and David Oldfield enter the house. So if anyone's not familiar with them, Lisa is the fiery housemate from the Real Housewives of Sydney. Short hey. black hair, Bob, the crazy one. Hey, Steve, do you yep. think sometimes I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, drop the ball when it comes to celebrities? I think they did in this case. Yeah. Not many people were happy that these two came in. David's the co-founder and former deputy leader of the One Nation Party with Pauline Hanson. Oh. Um, and he's kind of been doing the circuit in the last year of reality oh. TV shows. Um, so I think not many people are too happy that he's in, or Lisa. But yeah. they are really fiery, though, aren't they? They, they? they have a bit of a tumultuous relationship, don't they? Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. He's been rubbing everyone up the wrong way, and they're all calling him arrogant, abrasive, and then she's also chatting to the camera, agreeing that he's uh, <laughs> a bit of an idiot. And she thinks she's on a talk show. Why would anyone like him? Hey, um, what's happening with Jackie Gillies? Because I love her. She's a celebrity psychic. She's married to Ben Gillies of Silverchair. And she, she's been up here on the border before, actually, Stephen. And she's coming back. And, and I'm just obsessed with her. Jackie's been pretty good, actually. I was a little surprised her coming in that uh, if she would be entertaining. Uh, she's actually been great. She has been trying to get uh, the royal butler, Paul Burrell, who was Princess Di's butler, to sit him down, to be able to do a reading with him, because no doubt she's going to channel Princess Di. Oh, yeah. uh, but, you know, so far she's had no luck and she's kind of annoying the others because they know she's trying a little too hard to nail Paul and get to Princess Di and get that exclusive, yeah. I guess. <laughs> hey, Steve, um, um, mate, wrap it up for us. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be the king of the jungle? Oh, I or actually queen. think it could be between... Danny Green and Shannon Knowles. Ah. You might see Shannon Knowles' career, like, I love it again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, there you go. Uh, he's quite likeable, too, so I think that that would be... Yeah, I love Knowles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's great. great. I'm on board. Stephen, thank you so much for catching up with us this morning. No, thanks, guys. Awesome. We'll chat next week. Enjoy. Bye. Get up with Riley Rose and Seamus.